guys want badges or even someone to grind your account, make sure you guys go to TWBadges.com and use code TJack for 20% off your first reservation. So go check out TW Badges, link in description, and tell them I sent you. Yo, what's going on, Timothy? It's your boy TJack, bringing you guys another video. And as you guys can see, we are having a brand new video today on my Pure Slasher. Everybody's been asking me. I've already dropped videos in the past, but people cannot seem to find those videos. So I wanted to make an updated video every time I go live on Twitch. It's every every five seconds. TJack, what's your jump shot? TJack, what's your dribble moves? I already made a dribble moves video. Go check it out. It's it's literally not hard to find that. But it's every five seconds. What's your build? What's your, what's this? What's that? So I'm gonna upload the video. My build is just called Slasher, and this build right here is the ultimate clickbait build from 2K, bro. This build is the real. The true demigod, I'm not even kidding, this build is actually insane. I'm gonna show you guys my progression, my badges that I like to use, everything, man. So I don't have to get any questions, nothing like that. And I'm just gonna get straight to the point. So guys, drop a like on the video right now. If you guys want me to release all these new jump shots I've been using, I've been greeting almost every single shot, and a lot of people think that I have a low three ball in this build, but in reality, I don't. So if we come right here, man, we're gonna look at the stats right here. I'm six foot six. Like I said, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna show on the screen how to really make my build. Um, you guys are gonna see on the screen, I have a 90 close shot, 87 layup, 82 driving dunk, 84 mid range, 79 three ball. At 99.9, I have an 83 ball. High ball handle of 94. You could even go 6-7 on this build if you wanted to. And my defensive stats are just insane too. I have a 60 year interior, 76 uh, interior, lateral, all that stuff is max, bro. It's actually crazy. And I'm gonna show you guys the badges right now. A lot of you guys have been asking what badges I've been using. Let me change these up real quick. Guys, so to start with the finishing badges, you guys are probably gonna be questioning why I'm using these certain badges. I'm gonna let you guys know right now. So I use consistent finisher because, you know, just in case you don't time it right, I use no shot meter. So sometimes I don't know my timing. So I use it on silver contact finisher I use it on gold relentless finisher I use it on gold and I use slowly finisher on silver you guys can if you don't want to use those badges you can a lot of I just get questions every single day ask me what I use um, green machine silver you do not need a Hall of Fame you do not need it gold it's just as good I use hot start hot starts a very good badge for twos players if you're on the 1v1 court it's very good I was playing the 1v1 court earlier on twitch follow my twitch at tjacktw I stream every single night there that's what I've mainly been focusing on lately Gold quick draw range standard, obviously you guys see that, dead eye on silver. Playmaking, I use floor general hall of fame to help out my teammates and dimer to help out my teammates. If it wasn't for that, I'd be using ankle breaker and some different badges, stuff like that. When it comes to defensive badges, I realized guys, you only need clamps on silver, you only need intimidator on silver. Um, I tried it on bronze and sometimes they just made BS, so I like to put this badge on silver. Pogo stick, a lot of people ISO in this game, so I use pogo stick to really like stop those ISO players. When I jump, I can recover and just jump again. I use rebound chaser to be different, so like like if I go up on a stupid shot, if I'm playing a small guard, I can get the board over a build because I'm an inch taller than all these two-way slashing playmakers. So I can just get boards all the time because, I mean, I'm taller than them already. If I use rebound chaser, I'm really going to get rebounds over them. But right now, I'm going to show you guys how to fully make the slasher build, the T-Jack Demigod slasher build. If you guys make this build, tag me on Twitter at T-Jack YouTube. Tag me. I'll, I'll retweet it probably. Listen, this is the T-Jack Demigod build. I made this build as soon as the game dropped. I'm going to stop talking here, though, and you guys, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make this build. All right, guys, so I've already made a video on this build. You guys just probably haven't seen it yet. Guys, listen, this is how I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made my pure slasher build. You guys be ready for this video. Like I said, y'all better drop a like on this video right now. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe. I've been going crazy in this build right now. I'm telling you guys, like, I'm... I don't know what to tell you, that when this build gets a 99 overall, it's literally like insane how good this build is. And it's such a clickbait build. Like this is the definition of clickbait from 2K, guys. To make this build, in order to make this build, you guys are not even gonna believe how I made this build. You're really gonna be surprised. You just do pure playmaking pie chart. You're wondering, T-Jack, how is this a slasher? But you use playmaking pie chart. I'm gonna show you guys how right now. You obviously choose the fastest speed. And when it comes to your upgrades, guys, literally all I did when it comes to my upgrades, guys, is I made sure that I had 10 finishing badges in total. So I put my standing dunk all the way to right there. Obviously shooting, you wanna make sure your shooting is completely maxed out. 15 badges, all that stuff. Playmaking, I have 19, so I bumped this all the way up. I went all the way to right there when it came to playmaking and interior. Guys, you guys are going to see my lateral quickness. Obviously, I'm going to exit perimeter all the way for now. Okay, so guys, that's how you do it right there. You literally put your steal all the way up. You put your offensive rebound all the way to 64. Your defensive rebound max it completely out of the way. So right now, you have 10 finishing, 15 shooting, 19 playmaking, 9 defensive. That's what I did for this build. I chose the Burley build type. It really doesn't matter. And I went with 6'6". Six 
I went with the lowest weight. If I could go back, I would probably not do the lowest weight. I'd probably, you guys can decide that. I did lowest weight though, 180, and you guys can see right here, I have a 74 three ball. If you get to 99 overall, 99.9, .9, your three ball goes to an 80. So overall, your stats are insane. I'm gonna show you guys my full stats if I haven't shown them already. But when you click this build, when it came to the wingspan, I obviously chose minimum wingspan, the normal wingspan, so I could keep all my stats. If you go lower, you could obviously get higher, but I wanted a decent wingspan. I didn't want to like make it too high, so I went with 82.7. My bad, I went with 82.7. And once your build is done, guys, you have slasher takeover. I obviously chose it. And once you choose your slasher takeover, guys, look on the screen. You have built a slasher. That's how you make the build. I've already made a video on this build, but you guys have been asking a ton on my streams at twitch.tv slash tjack. So yeah, that's how you make the pure slasher. The T-Jack Demigod Pure Slasher. I wish you guys just understood how good this build really is, man. As you guys can see on the screen right now, this is when I was streaming on Twitch. Like I said, I stream every single day. It's gonna be in the description. Go follow it. And guys, we've been having a lot of fun time. So I got on the 1v1 court the other day on my slasher build. I just wanna show you guys how dominant this build really is once you hit 99 overall. And just in general, guys, I, I know this is, I'm kind of making like a tip video right now. Listen, bro, just turn your meter off. I know if you use a, sh a jump shot meter, you guys put in the comments right now, do you use a shot meter or not a shot meter? If you do use a shot meter, I highly recommend turning it off, bro. I know that it's hard. I know it can be hard, but I recommend turning it off. You guys can see on my slasher build, bro. I can shoot. Literally, I just do a basic size up. I'm not no dribble guide. There's basic moves in this game. If you guys want me to do this a full tutorial on how to do it, there's multiple ways to get open on this game that you guys don't even know about, bro. So listen, turn your shot meter off. Get used to it. Get used to some dribble moves. I uploaded a dribble move video, and you know, in the last few videos, y'all go check it out. But overall, just look at me, bro. It's nothing green but lettuce. I went on a 14 game win streak on the 1v1. I should have went on even higher. I ended up losing to a, you know, a, a center. You know, of course, I always lose to a center, something like that. That's pretty much the only thing I ever lose to. But guys, I mean, there's multiple ways to, you know, get used to your shot meter. Just find a good jump shot that you're comfortable with. I don't know if you like jump shot meter, no jump shot meter. What do you guys like? You know, I don't know if you like, you know, fast jump shots, quick jump shots, what you like. But overall, you need to get used to something that you, you fuck with and overall that you just like using. But you guys can see, bro, I'm using the Kobe Escape and I just go crazy on kids, bro. Like I just hit them with a basic behind the back or a basic by uh, the little step back that I do. If I have the space, I'm pulling. If I don't have the space, I'm attacking the rack every single time. If I have slashing takeover, guys, I'm an SS2, bro. I'm literally a superstar too, bro. I'm not elite one. I don't get takeover fast. I literally just go in here. Dudes think I'm a pure slasher. In reality, it's a clickbait build. So when I go in the game, nobody wants to guard me. But now that I'm up on this video, you guys are probably gonna, you know, catch on to me and stuff like that. But you guys can just see, bro, like I go, I go crazy on this build overall. Like I can shoot, I can play defense, I can pass the ball. No matter what it is, I'm a two score, three score. I played whatever, man. So there's no excuse. Go get used to no shot meter. Go get some dribble moves. Go get used to it, bro. There's so many ways to score on this game. This this game is such an offensively, like it's it's so toward offense, bro. You might as well just go do what you can. It doesn't matter how you play. This this game doesn't require much skill. I'm gonna be honest. I've seen this year. The worst players in past 2Ks be good at this 2K. So if that isn't motivation for you to be good at this game, listen, man, do it right now. Just go practice. I don't know if y'all even like 2K at this point. You know, I did take a few months off of this game, so I don't even know. But hey, I'm in my bag now. I'm ready to play these wagers. Y'all already know. So put in the comment section down right now who y'all want me to play. Listen, man, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. You guys can just see me go crazy for the last few minutes. But thank you guys for enjoying the video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you're new. It's been your boy T-Jack. Follow all my social medias. I'm gonna be doing some giveaways on uh, my Twitch, so make sure you guys follow that. This is gonna wrap it up here, boys. I hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.